Okay, good day. So, welcome sa part 2 sa atong uh, video lecture. So, it's about, again, uh, linear algebraic equations. Uh, tayo na topic, ah. Okay. Where are okay, first we have um, to solve uh, the equations uh, looking for the number of unknowns. So, we have the non-computer methods and the computer methods. So, for n, so uh, of unknowns is less than 3. So, we can solve the equations by 1, graphical method, 2, Kramer's rule, and method of elimination. So, um, Gauss elimination, uh, parang pares lang sila sa, ano, sa methods of elimination. Okay. First, go to graphical method. So, I'm sure, madali na lang tong graphical method eh. Kumbaga, napaka-ano na siya. Uh, CCU na lang sa inyo. Or kahit nakapikit kayo, kaya-kaya nyo isold the unknowns uh, using graphical methods. Okay? So, sa graphical methods, if you are given the equations, so you can just plot uh, the equation sa graph. Okay, so we will use the formula y is equal to mx plus b, right? So, kung equation ay give, uh, given in this, ka, ganito na ano, na expression, so we'll just convert it into a uh, straight line. So, kunin yung slope and the intercept, so x2 as the ordinate or the y-axis and the x1 as the abscissa or the x-axis. So, the values of x and 1 and 2 at the intersection of the lines represent the solution. So, example. So, we have the use the graphical method to solve uh, 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 18 and that is equation 1 and x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 2. That is equation 2. So, paano yan? Iplot nyo lang yan sa curve. Sa, sa graph. Okay, let's plot the equations. I'm going to take Excel. So, ito yung equations. So, we have to put for the value of x1 and this is x2. Then, for equation 1 and equation 2. So, let's assume some uh, values for x1. So, let's say x1 is we equate it into 0. So, that is equal to 18 minus uh, 3 times x1 okay divided by uh, x2 that is 2 rest equals to 9 so ganoon din dito sa kabila sa equation 2 so that is equals to 2 minus so, di na siyang minus plus x1. Okay. Divided by 2. So, that is 1. So, okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's assume hanggang 5. Okay. Let's point it down. Okay. Okay. Now, we have the values. So, let's plot this um, value so gawa tayo ng crop ok so here is the value so this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 so ngayon kung saan yung point of intersection nila yun yung ano uh, value of x2 so So, the solution is the intersection of two lines at x1 is equal to 4 and x2 is equal to 3. So, this result can be checked by substituting these values into the original equations to yield. So, let's check itong ginawang graph kanina. So, x1, itong value x1, that is equals to 4 and for x2, that is equals to 3. Okay. So, this is the abscissa. Okay. So, parehas lang sa book. Then, para i-double check, i-substitute yung value 
na nakuha nyo sa graph x1 to 4 and x2 to 3. So, dapat that is equal to 18 and 2. So, thus the results are equivalent to the right hand side of the original equations. Okay? So, for three simultaneous equations, so each equation uh, could be represented by a plane and a three dimensional coordinate system. So, beyond three equations, graphical methods break down and sequently have a little practical value for solving a simultaneous equation. So, okay lang siya kung for, ano, kung for uh, two equations, uh, two unknowns. So, in figure 9.2, it shows that the case where the two equations represent parallel lines. So, sa A, parallel lines. Sa B naman depicts the case where the two lines are coincident. So, nag-merge sila. And for uh, figure C, they're very close to being singular. So, halos uh, magdikit na sila or mag-merge. So, these systems are said to be ill-condition. Ill so, hindi siya normal. So, graphically, this corresponds to the fact that it is difficult to identify the exact point at which the lines intersect. So, kahit ano yung gawin nyo dyan, balibalik tiro nyo, nyo man yung mga graph, hindi nyo makikita yung uh, points of intersection nila. So, ill-condition system will also pose problems when they are encountered during the numerical solution of linear equations. Because, they will be extremely sensitive to round of error. Right? And because of this limitation, so, we cannot solve the unknown. So, we can go to another solution. So, we have the Kramer rule. Kramer rule. So, Kramer rule is another set of solution that is best suited to small numbers of equations. So, that is, uh, unknown is less than or equal to 3. We will first uh, discuss the uh, determinant, the concept of the determinant. So, determinant can be illustrated for a set of three equations. So, where A is the coefficient matrix. So, ito yung matrix natin. Then, the determinant D of the system is formed from the coefficients of the equation as in D. See? So, what do you notice about the A and the D? So, if you will notice that it is the same elements from the matrix to the determinants, no? Parehas lang sila. But, they are completely uh, different mathematical concepts. So, they are distinguished by using brackets. Itong sa uh, matrix A, so, naka-enclosed sa matrix while the determinant is, is enclosed by a straight lines. So, wala siyang bracket. Ay, may bracket. Pag matrix, pag walang bracket, a determinant siya. Straight lines. Okay. In contrast to a matrix, the determinant is a single number. So, for example, the value of the second order determinant, D, A11, A12, A21, A22. Okay. Uh, is calculated by D is equal to A11, A22 A11 multiplied by A22 minus A12 times A21 So, yun ang determinant So, for a third order case a single numerical value for determinant can be computed as kung tatlo yung unknowns ganito Okay. Where the 2 by 2 determinants are called minors. So, kung 2 by 2 determinants, ganito, 2 by 2 determinants uh, are called minors. So, comp example, compute values for determinants of the system represented in example 1. So, solution, we have determinants. So, this is the matrix. So, determinant 3 times 2 minus 2 times 1, negative 1. So, that is equals to 8. So, yun ang determinants. Determinant ng matrix uh, na 3, 2, and negative 1, and 2. So, Kramer, Kramer's rule states that each unknown in a system of linear algebraic equations may be ex expressed 
as a fraction of two determinants with denominator d and with the numerator obtained from uh, d by replacing the column of coefficients of the unknown in question by uh, the constant b1, b2, up to bn. So, for example, x1 would be computed as, so the b are the constant, so these are the values for the uh, matrix. Okay. Okay, to illustrate uh, the concept of terminants, we will have some example, sample 3. So, use Kramer rules to solve these equations. Uh, how many unknowns? 3 unknowns. Okay, let's go to Excel. So, ito yung tatlong equations. So, how will we so solve this uh, problem using Kramer rule? Kramer rules. So that is a uh, x is equal to the b. Okay. So first, ano man natin yung uh, equations into matrix simplify. So that is zero point three. So matrix a. So we have the 0 0.3, 0 0.52, and x3 is 1. Okay, next 0 0.5, x2 is 1, then 1.9, then is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. Okay. And for matrix B, we have negative 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.67, and negative 0 0.44. Okay. So, ito yung mga matrix natin. Okay. Now, we will get the uh, determinant D. So, from uh, matrix A. Okay, so how will we get the determinant of this matrix? So, let's go back to the problem. Okay. So, for the determinant, so, kuhaan sa nato ang minors. So, A11, 3 unknowns, 3 by 3 matrix. So, ito. A11, uh, then times a22, ito to. Ito ay then minus n plus. Okay, for determinant of minor, so a11 times a22 minus a12 times a21. Then yung mga minors. Okay. Then for the big elements. Okay, let's check. See, okay. So, ang determinants natin, compute is equals to a11 that is 0.3 k times the, the minor determinants so kung ito yung ano nyo ah uh, ito yung rows and columns niyo a3 so dito natin kukunin yung minors determinants niya so that is uh, 1 times as a times to baba minus this value times 0.3. Okay. So, andito tayo sa ano ha. Asa na yan? Ito. Andito tayo na part. Okay. Then, sunod dito na tayo. Minus. Minus A22. A. Can. A12. Okay. Multiplied by the minors determinant. So, ito yung pagkamitin natin. So, 0 0.5 times oh, 0.5 minus this determinant a value times uh, this value. Okay. Then, ang sunod is plus. Plus by nakalagay. Uh, 
Pasok plus na tayo. A1, 3. A2, 1. A2, 2. Tayo. So, A3 plus A3 daw. Plus A3. Multiplied by. So, ito yung mga minus niya. 0.5. Times 0.3. Minus 1. Times 0.1. Close parenthesis. So, determinant is equal to negative 0.0022. Okay, let's check. Oh, wala di ay. Okay. So, we already have the value of determinant that is equal to Negative 0.0022. Now, how will we solve for the value of x1? So, x1. Okay, so, sa atong solution. So, x1, kuha natin yung value ng sa B matrix. Statutute natin dun sa matrix A. Okay, then divided by the main determinant. So, let's go back to the problem. Okay. Okay. So, let's just copy this one. Control C. Control B. Oh, but can on. Okay, so x1 is equal to, i-change na natin ito, kwalas yung value ng B matrix. Ctrl C, Ctrl B. Then, i-compute natin yung determinants nitong matrix na ito. So, paano natin yung gagawin? So, let's give here. Dapat pala dito Iklikay yung main determinants Okay So compute natin ulit Okay so nalipat ko yung value Ng main determinants Dito Okay just copy this And paste So ito na ngayon yung value Ng ano Minor determinants. So, how will we compute for the value f x1? So, using Kramer's rule. Oh, mali. So, this value na determinant, itong sinabstitute natin, divided by the domain determinant. Okay? So, value of x x1 is equal to this determinant, determinant nito divided by the domain determinant so that is equals to negative 14.9 ok, for x2 so kopen lang ito ng matrix na ito so let's see x2 Okay, then substitute na ito. So, ito yung mga part ng ano, x2 value, di ba? Ito, 0.5x2, x2, 0.3x2. So, tanggalin natin siya. Copy natin to Value ng B matrix. Then, substitute. Then, compute natin ulit yung determinant nitong matrix na to Okay. Then, let's compute the value of x2. This determinant ng matrix na to Divided by the main determinants. So that is negative 29.5. Okay, for x3. So this part. So let's copy again the original matrix. Control V. Then it change na po natin mga value na to. Ang value of the B matrix. Control V. Then copy natin ulit yung determinants niya. Okay. Control C. Okay, so for the value of x3, 
equals to uh, determinant of this matrix divided by the main determinant. So that is the value of x3, 19.8. Uh, x1 we have 14.9 and x2 29.5 negative 29.5 negative 14.9 and 19.8 so okay so yun ang Kramer's rule so we have three unknowns and three equation three unknowns so we have computed the values of x1 x2 x3 so, kung para ma-check nyo kung tama yung solution natin. So, puto tayo sa uh, equation 1. So, substitute natin yung mga values sa equation 1. That is equal to 0.3 uh, multiplied by x1. x1 is 14.9 plus uh, 0 0.52 times x2. 29.5 plus the value of x3 must be equals to uh, negative 0 0.01 okay so it's equal to 0 0.01 okay so checking so tama equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so kayo na lang mag check okay so parehas Okay, so na nakuha ninyo guys, Kramer's rule. I hope so. Okay, let's go. Bro. So that's it. So let's go to next lesson. Then we have the elimination of unknowns. Uh, for more than three equations, Kramer, Kramer's rule becomes impractical because as the number of equations increases, so determinants are time consuming. So masyado siyang matrabaho kung mas marami yung... Uh, uh, unknowns so consequently there are more efficient alternatives as used so some of these all some of these alternatives are based on the uh, non-computer solution technique which is the elimination of unknowns so the elimination of unknowns is the elimination by combining equations in an algebraic approach that can be illustrated for a set of two equations so, example, uh, we have the equation 9.6 and 9.7, a11x1 plus a12x2 equals 1. So, the basic strategy is to multiply the equations by constant so that one of the unknowns will be eliminated when the two equations are combined. So, the result is single equation that can be solved for the remaining unknown. So, this value can then be substituted into either of the original equations to compute the other variable. So, I'm sure very familiar naman ang elimination of unknowns. Kung baga, pabalik-balik na lang siya sa algebra. So, napakadali na lang yan. So, for example, uh, for equation 9.6 and 9.7, so, ano ang gagawin natin? Para example, we will need to eliminate the value of x1 sa dalawang equation na to. So, we will multiply the equation 1 by a21 and then yung equation uh, 9.7 naman i-multiply natin by a11 diba so if you can see this is uh, equation a11 x1 plus multiply natin ng a21 a21 a11 x1 plus a21 a21 uh, a12 x2 is equal to b1 so lahat ng terms plus from right uh, from left to right so, ganun din so, ganun din sa equation 9.7. Multiply natin by A11. Okay, so, yan ang multiply natin. So, when we subtract the two equations, so, ang mangyayari, may eliminate yung dalawang unknowns. So, ang matitira, uh, this value, this expression, and this expression. Okay. So, ang matitira, uh, A11, A22, X2 minus A11, A11, a to 2 x2 okay wait a12 to dapat bakit ganun then b2 a11 minus b1 a21 so which can be solved for the value of x2 okay so na eliminate natin yung value ng x1 so we can solve now for the value of x2 
So, equation 9 even 10. So, we have some example. Okay. So, use elimination of unknowns to solve the following equations. So, to simplify, let's make a matrix. So, in matrix format natin. So, that is 3, x1, and for the x2, 2. So, negative 1, and we have 2. And for the matrix B, we have 18 and 2. So, this B. Okay. So, now we will first eliminate the uh, X2. So, if you notice, so, we will simplify this equation. So, X2 would be B2A11 minus B1A21 divided by this expression. So, factor out natin ng X2. A12 uh, minus A22. Okay. Okay, so this is the correct. Uh, so, simplify natin para masolve natin yung value ng X2. So, ang sabi, uh, eliminate natin tong value ng X1. So, i-copy lang natin siya. Control C. Control B. So, eliminate. Tanggalin. Then, we'll put the value of the B matrix. Yon. Okay. Yan. I-copy natin yung determinant nito. Versus determinant of this part. So, this is the value of the original matrix. So, ito siya, di ba? A21, A21. Ito. Okay, so, compare natin yung determinant nito. That is equals to 18 times 2. Diba? That is B1 times A21. Okay. Okay, wait. Ay, namali. So, X2. Kinidation na value. And value of P. Okay, so solve for x1. So, kunin natin yung determinants nito. That is equal to b2 times a11. So, b2 is 2 times a11. So, that is equal to 3 times b2. Okay. Then, we have minus a12. a12 is negative 1. times uh, B1 B1 to. okay then divided by ito so we have the A21 A21 then 1, 2 so that is equal to 3 times this minus uh, A22 times uh, A11. Okay. Now for the value of X2. That's equal to 24 divided by 8. So, that is equals to 3. So, parang same concept lang siya sa Kramer's rule, no? Now, we'll compute for the value of x1. Then, 
Again, we'll copy the original matrix. Control B, Control B. For X1, tanggalin natin to. And substitute natin itong value. Okay. So, same concept sa Kramer's rules. Determinant of sa ibabaw and divided by determinant sa ibaba. So, that is 18 times 2 minus 2 times this ter. So, this value 3 times 2 minus 2 times uh, this value. That is 8. So, that is 32 divided by 8. So, the value is 4. So, the value of x1 is equal to 4 and the value of x2 is equal to 3. So, let's check. So, equation 1 is substitute natin these values with this equation that is equal to 3 multiplied x1. So, x1 natin is 4 plus 2 multiply the value of x2 uh, which equals to 3 so enter that will be equal to 18 so check 18 uh, 18 equation 1 equation 2 so equation 2 we have negative x1 4 plus 2 times the value of x2 that is 3 so that is equals to 2 so correct ang ato ang uh, values of x1 and x2 Okay. So, nakuha. So, elimination of unknown, same concept lang sa, sa halos same concept sa Kramer, Kramer's rule. So, the elimination of unknowns can be extended to systems with more than two or three equations. So, kahit gano'ng pakarama yung unknowns. However, the numerous calculations that are required for larger systems make the method extremely tedious to implement by hand. So, kung napakarami na yung unknowns, ang gagamitin na nating solution is what we call uh, the nave gauss elimination. Okay? So, the approach used on solving systems of unknowns can be extended to large sets of equations by developing systematic scheme or alg algorithm to eliminate unknowns and to box substitute. So, gauss elimination... Is the most basic of these schemes. So the approach is designed to solve a general set of n equations. So we have the uh, equation 9.12a. So a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 plus 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 until a1n xn is equal to b1. So, as, as was the case with the solution of two equations, the, the technique for n equation consists of two, phase, two phases. We have the elimination of unknowns and solution through back substitution. So, we have the figure 9.3. So, we have the two phases of nave ghost elimination. We have the forward elimination and the back substitution. So, ang ibig sabihin daw nito, itong equation, we have the three equations, three unknowns. So, ang gagawin daw natin is... Equate natin itong equation na to into uh, 0, this value. So, ang mangyayari ngayon, para maging 0 ito, i-multiply natin siya ng a11, di ba? Then, a11, a11, then sub subtract natin sa this equation. So, mangyayari, a22 times a11, a23 times a11, b2 times a11. So, ang mangyayari, babago ngayon. Uh, yung mga values nito. So, kaya naging A prime siya. Okay. Then, ganun din sa A31. So, we need to uh, to equate this into uh, 0. So, this value para maging 0 siya. So, i-multiply natin ng itong value para maging 0. Then, subtract na naman. Hanggang sa another uh, Changes na naman kaya naging a double prime 3 3. Okay, so pagkuha ng value ng x, well, so we have from this uh, third na changes. So, b3 divided by the value of a3. 
then from this value we can get the value of x2 so this is x2 diba this portion is x2 x1 so b2 substitute lang natin hanggang substitute okay so ito yung forward elimination of unknowns so the first phase is to reduce the set of equations to an upper triangular system so first step is to eliminate the first unknown x1 from the second through the n equations okay so we will show how we will compute this later on so prime indicates that the elements have been changed from the original value so okay yun sinasabi ko yung original values nito nag change kaya nagkaroon ng uh, a prime ganoon din sa sunod double prime so the procedure is then repeated for the remaining equations so repeating the procedure for the remaining equation results in the following uh, modified system so na modified na siya nagkaroon na ng mga changes na eliminate yung value ng x1 ang sana iwan na lang ang value ng x2 at x3 right so equation 9.12a is called the pivot equation 9.12a so this is the pivot uh, pivot equation so the division operation is referred to as normalization so a zero pivot element can interfere with normalization by causing a division by zero so now repeat the above procedure to eliminate the second unknown so ito na yung natira right naging uh, 9.14b na so from the original ito na ngayon nagkaroon na mga changes so ulitin na natin yung procedure i-eliminate na naman natin yung uh, values ng second term or x2 para matira na lang is uh, x3 and the uh, b2 so ganun ulit eliminate so i-divide natin ng a22 so yun the double prime indicates that the elements have been modified twice yun iksibin daw na do modified twice kaya double prime so the procedure can be continued using the remaining pivot equations so ito na naman naging pivot equations as uh, second manipulations so the final manipulation in this sequence is to use the n minus 1 equation to eliminate the xn minus 1 term from the nth equation. So then the system have transformed to an upper triangular system. So medyo nakakalito lang no. Pero later on, uh, I will show you how uh, kung paano i-apply. Okay. Okay, parang medyo mahirap siya intindihin. Okay, I have here some example 5. So, use Gauss elimination. I uh, have six significant figures during the computation to solve the following equations. Okay, let's put on naman tayo sa Excel. Okay. So, again, I write this... Uh, equation format into matrix so this matrix a matrix b so this is equation one and then equation two and equation three so ito yan in matrix format ko lang siya so the first procedure for a Gauss elimination is a forward elimination Okay, so we will eliminate uh, this value and subtract the result from equation 9.5.2. So first, so this would be known as the pivot, pivot equation. So copy lang natin siya dito. Uh, that's equals to that equation. Okay. So we will multiply uh, equation 9.5.1 by 0 0.1 divided by 3 and subtract the result from equation 9.5.2. Okay, so this value we went to 0. So that is, uh, sabe, subtract the results uh, by the. Uh, 
so that is equals to so this result of this is 0.1 okay subtract so gagawin natin siyang 0 right so minus this times uh, this 0.1 divided by 3 okay so 0 then let's do this to another uh, to all terms of the equation 2 so i divide natin siya ng uh, so this value i times natin ng uh, 0.1 divided by 3 then i subtract natin sa 7 so ganun let's just copy this okay so the next ang gagawin natin dapat ito gagawin din natin 0 so ito yung value nya diba so itong equation 1 it times natin by this value times natin by 0.3 divided by uh, 3 so para maging equal sya sa 0.3 then subtract natin tong value na to from this value that would equals to 0 so that is equals to uh, 0.3 minus uh, this cell times uh, this cell divided by 3 so that is equals to 0 so ganun dito so pero dapat ano siya f f wait <laughs> dollar sign oh again zero let's see okay so dapat pala dollar to oh shit dollar din para hindi siya ma change Okay, let's drag. Okay, let's drag this also this on this part. Okay, yeah. So now we have the uh, second modification. No? Okay, next is uh, step is we will uh, make this value into zero. Parang maiwan na lang itong value ng x3. So let's just copy this one. Control C, Control P. Hmm, 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 hmm. C and value lang. Insert the values. Ooh, bakit ganon? Paste the values. Okay. Now we will uh, make this term into 0. Para may iwan na lang is itong value ng x3. So ito na yung first, mod mo uh, first modification ng equation. And wala. First modify. Then ito na yung second modification. Or the double prime. So, hindi ko na kinuha yung equation 1. So, dito na tayo sa equation 2. Second modification. Then, equate natin ngayon ito into 0. Okay. So, this is now the uh, second pi boat. So, paano natin siya gagawing uh, 0 ito? So, gagawin natin yung 0 ah. So, uh, ganito siyang 0. So, this value will make this to uh, 0. That is equal to uh, 0 0.19 minus uh, this equation times uh, 0.19 divided by this equation. That is equals to zero. Change na sa into dollar sign para fix.
Okay. Okay, zero na yung term. Then, ganun ulit. So, ito, copy lang natin yung term na yun. So, itong term na ito, 10.02 uh, minus this term. So, let's just copy. Okay, delete. Okay, so we have already the second modification. So, that is the value for x3 on this part. So, we can now compute for the x3. So, that is equals to this value divided by this value. So, that is equals to 7. And for the value of x2 and x1. So, substitute na natin yung value na x3. So, dito na equation. No? So, that is equals to... Uh, this equation okay minus this value times uh, x3 okay mm. then we have to divide the value of x2 okay negative 0.5 and for the value of x1, so ito na yung gagamitin natin na equation, yung original pi volt. So that is equals to uh, 7.85. Okay. 7.85. Asan ako? So, 0.2, negative 0.2 plus, hindi pa lang sa kabila, plus mm -hmm. wait plus 0.2 times the value of x2 ay x3 ay, mali mali ah uh. Plus 0.2 times the value of x3. Okay, lipatan ulit sa kabila. Plus 0.1 times the value of x2. Okay, then divided by this value. Oh, okay, that is equals to 3. Okay, so this 7.85. Lipatan sa kabila. So, plus 0.2 times x3 of uh, 7 then itong value na to 0.1 lipat natin sa kalula so maging positive plus 0.1 times negative uh, 2.5 okay then divided by 3 para makunta yung value ng x1 so these are the value of the 3 unknowns using naive gauss uh, elimination so check natin So, let's check sa equation 1. 7.85 should be equal to 7.85. So, that is equal to 3 times uh, value of x1 minus uh, 0 0.1 times the value of x2. Okay. Minus uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by the value of x3. That is 7. Okay, 7.85 is equal to 7. And equation 1, 2, and 3. So, try to ano lang din, check ang obang equations. So, that is the value of the uh, 3 unknowns. Okay. Next, uh, we have some pitfalls of eliminations methods, no? So, division by 0, so it is possible that during the elimination and box addition phases, so a division by 0 occur. So, round of error, so it can become important when large numbers of equations are to be solved. So, this is due to the fact that every result is dependent on previous results. So, so, so error in early steps tend to propagate, so that will cause errors in subsequent steps. So, kung yung first na step is na ground up ka na, sa mga next na uh, procedure ulit, nagkakaroon ka na ng mga round of errors kasi first pa lang nag-round of ka na. So, 
A rough rule of thumb rule of the thumb is that run of error may be important when dealing with 100 or more equations. Case okay. more than 100 equations, grabe. So run of error is uh, very important. So for ill condition system, so you know what is ill condition system? Yung mga parallel yung equations, yung uh, malapit ang mag-merge or hindi magka-merge-merge. -merge. So, wherein small changes in coefficient results in large changes in the solution. So, alternatively, it happens when two or more equations are nearly identical. So, resulting a wide ranges of answers are nearly identical. So, resulting a wide ranges of answers to approximately satisfy the equation. Since round of errors can induce small changes in the coefficients, so these changes can lead to large solution errors. So, Another uh, disadvantage, oh, we have the singular system. So, when two equations are identical, so we could lose one degree of freedom and be dealing with the impossible case of n minus 1 equations for n unknowns. So, for large sets of equations, it may not be obvious. However, so the fact that the determinant of a singular system is zero can be used and tested by computer algorithm after the elimination stage. So, if a zero diagonal element is created, Calculation is uh, terminated. So because of these uh, pitfalls, we have another techniques. So that is called uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So it is a variation of Gauss elimination. So same method lang siya sa Gauss, uh, Gauss elimination method. So the difference is that when an unknown is eliminated, it is eliminated from all other equations rather than just a subsequent uh, one. So moreover, all rows are normalized by dividing them by their pivot elements. So thus the elimination step results in identity matrix rather than a triangular matrix. So consequently, it's not necessary to employ box substitution to obtain solution. So okay, uh, same example. So example by using Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Okay, so balik tadi to ganina. Let's copy this. Okay. Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So actually, sa Gauss-Jordan uh, elimination method, uh, so this matrix, uh, example, this matrix, mm, Ang gagawin na na siyang identical matrix. So, identical matrix. So, parang symmetry. Puro 1, diagonal. So, this value is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, ganyan. Ganyan lang gagawin natin sa uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Pero almost same technique lang sila sa ano, Gauss, uh, Nave Gauss elimination method. So, first, uh, identity matrix. 1, 0, ah, oh. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, okay, so for this, uh, gagawin natin siyang uh, identical matrix, so paano siya gagawin ng uh, 1, so this value will divide by itself. So, that is 1. So, same thing dito. Gawin natin siyang, itong value na to, divide natin ng uh, 3. Kasi, para parehas. Okay, drag. Okay. So, that's it. Then, ang susunod, ah, gagawin natin siya ah, 0. So, gagawin natin siyang 0. So, paano yung ginawa natin kanina? So, same sa Gauss Nave Elimination. So, first modification. So, ganito. Copy na lang natin siya. Oh. Ah, oh, shit, babe. Okay, so this one, 
uh, minus this one times uh, minus 3 times 0 0.1 divided by 3 ok, 0 so itong 0 0.1 dapat ito maging 0 sya, diba? so using this equation so this equation, i-times natin sya ng uh, 0 0.1 divided by 3 para pareha sila and ganoon din ang gagawin sa mga ibang terms so, dollar natin itong 7 para fix. Okay. Then, let's drag this. Okay. And delete. Now, we will make this term uh, equals to 0. So, that is equals to uh, this term minus this term multiplied by this term divided by this value. Okay. Then, dollar sign. Para pag-drag natin mamaya para para us. Okay, let's drag. Mm. Okay, so naging 0, 0 na siya. So, using the identical matrix. So, let's see. So, parang parehas lang siya, no? Sa Ghost Jordan. Okay. So, next, normalize uh, the second row by dividing it by 7.003. So, dito na tayo sa 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, dapat ito ay maging 0, 1, 0. Okay, so let's just copy this. Uh, and so let's see. So, B. Okay. Values lang ating i-paste, paste the value. Okay, so this is already zero. Okay, ito 0, 1, ah, 0. So, ito gagawin natin yung C0. So, that is equals to divided by itself. Okay, so, dollar sign natin siya. So, po, itong ba na ito, divided by, same nang ganun. Okay, ngayon ang next, itong second term dapat maging 0. Then sa baba, maging 0 rin. So, paano natin siya gagawin 0? So, that is equals to... Uh, uh, this value minus... Uh, this value times... Mali. this value that is equals to this value minus this value times 0.19 divided by this value okay skin zero na siya so dollar sign na natin Okay, then gawin din natin siya sa next na mga uh, components or elements. Okay, it's 10.4. Okay, balik tayo sa dito na cell. So, gagawin natin siyang 0, no? So, that is equals to uh, this value. Okay, minus... This value times 
0.3 divided by 1. So that is equals to 0. Then we have dollar sign. Point zero eight six and two point three three. Okay. Okay. So next is since we're back with zero, so that is equals to uh point nineteen minus this one uh times point nineteen divided by this one again. So that is equals to zero. Then we have to put dollar sign and okay 10.0124 and 70.08429 okay so na make natin siya na ganitong format so next is I uh, will make this term into this 001. So, copy natin siya. Let's see. Then, paste lang ang value. Okay, how will we make this term into 0? So, that is equals to. And then, skip. Ito muna pala. Gawin natin 1. So, that is equals to 10. Divided by by itself para 1. So, itong ba na ito 10.012 divided by itself. So, ganito rin ang gawin natin ito. 70.08 divided by by uh, 10.0124. So, kung ano yung ginawa natin dito, yun din yung gagawin natin. So, if you can see, this is the x3 value. So, x3. That is equals already to 7. Then ngayon, ito ang gagawin natin siya into 0. So, paano natin gagawin siya into 0? Okay, so that is equals to uh, uh -huh. this value minus uh, this term times uh, G14 divided by uh, G20. And that, so that is equals to 0. So, dollar sign. So, kung ano yung ginawa natin dyan sa element. So, gawin din natin dito. So, that is equals to 3. So, that is equals to ano nga to? X1. Okay, for X2, gawin natin siyang 0. So, that is uh, this term minus 1 times natin by 0, 0.418 divided by G20 so that is 0 so lagyan natin ng dollar sign ok kung anong ginawa natin dyan yun din gagawin natin sa next na term so that is equals to x2 ok so, this is the value. So, let's check on Simba sa Gauss Elimination. X1 is equal to 3. X1 is equal to 3. X2 is equal to 2.5. And X3 is equal to 7. So, same lang sila. C. So, C. Oh. So same lang. Okay. Then check. So the coefficient matrix has been transformed to the identity matrix and the solution obtained in the right hand side vector. So notice that no box substitution was required to obtain the solution. So dire direction na lang siya no. Hindi na tayo nag box substitution. Okay, so that is the uh, 
Gauss Jordan elimination method. So I have some assignment number five. So here, uh, go to the modules. So answer the uh, one, two, and three problems. Okay. So ayan. So good luck and see you again next meeting. If you have some question, drop it on the comment section. Okay.